Hey guys, Renee and Casey here with Bargain Iron Thrift Store, and we've got a story to share. I don't know why you're so happy. It's sad. It's all over. The dream is crushed. The bulldozers are outside. The army's coming. The heavens are falling. Where's the Kleenex box? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not emotionally ready for this. It's been 10 years since we started this. Remember when Tatiana was just like this tall and I made her go with the sledgehammer and take walls down? Insert picture here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We're going to have to post pictures of all the years of Tatiana throughout the years being in our store. So maybe we should tell people everything that's going on first. Oh, no, what she's going to cry. About. You know, just in case, if you're in the San Diego area, you definitely want to watch this video. Because later on, we're going to make a huge announcement. We've got a huge sale coming. But yeah, let's tell the story. I mean, you guys heard the rumors. You heard us talk about it on video. Okay, so our shopping center is being demolished. Our shopping center, including the bowling alley. Oh no, we're gonna cry, guys. What? what? The Academy Award right here. I'm like, you're throwing me off. Anyway, so they're going to be building apartments, but blessings from God, we're getting paid to shut down our business. So that's why I'm okay with it. 10 years, guys. They're building apartments, this whole shopping center. It's actually been kind of sucking because the last two years, a lot of people left. Their leases were up. They had to leave. We were lucky. We had a long-term lease, so we made a buyout agreement with Fairfield, which means that they paid us. They took care of us. But it's still sad. You know, the last 10 years, this was part of our business. We will actually be here till, what, about March 15th we should be open? Yeah, I think that's what our target date to be completely out of here. Well, completely out of here, we we technically get to be here till April 14th, uh, according to our agreement. But we're probably going to completely be out of here sometimes between March and April. Like, I'm kind of shooting for April 1st, to be honest, but we don't know when we shut down operations. So, what's going to happen? A lot of you guys, you're asking, well, is Bargain Hunters out of business? Okay, so wait, before we go there, I was thinking about it while I was driving to work today, and I started crying because I was thinking about, like, all the customers that we've gotten to know over the years and the customers that, you know, because of COVID, not everybody's been able to come in here. Shut up. Stop it. The people that I really do miss, and it, like, brings a tear, like, big time, is all the handicapped adult people that used to come here on, on a weekly basis. They were just such beams of light, just so sweet. They would be like, oh, can I have a hug? Or, you know, you say something <laughs> nice to them, and they would just be like, you know, they just had such a great spirit, and I miss them. We only have... Two people now that come, Mark, and then this other lady. I think she has Asperger's, and she's great. I always tell, her, "Oh, you're our number one in customer," and she's like, "Yes, I am." <laughs> but also she's at the great. same time, like today, I got in a yelling match because a guy got mad with the mask, and then he was starting to say really rude stuff about Casey. He was like trying to tell on her. I'm like, "Well, number one, it's my wife, so I really don't care." And that part I don't miss right now with COVID because oh yeah, like, well it's because I told him to put on the mask and he's like, I'm not sick. I'm like, look, you're like 75 years old. Put the mask on. It's for your protection, not mine. And it doesn't matter if we agree or disagree. I've said that many times. It's the state law. We yeah, operate it's the state a business. Law. You we gotta have put to on the it. mask. So, so fighting with people about silly things like that, we're not gonna miss. But I do miss all the customers. I was reflecting about. Like, this is the first time I really feel in my entire life, like, community and a sense of, like, just camaraderie with people, I guess you could say. Because, like, there's been people here that have been shopping with us since we were, you know, for mm -hmm. the last 10 years. And so, like, you get to build a rapport. You're like, hey, how you doing? We've watched people's kids grow up. You know, you ask people about our kids grand grew up here, basically. Grandkids, yeah. And our kids growing up, because I'm going to have Renee post different pictures of over the years of her growing up should have put at the end of the video like a bunch of bargain hunters pictures and do like yeah. sad music playing well and i started thinking the about titanic saying, song <laughs> but look guys bargain and i thought about all the employees that have worked with us over the years and you know it's like everybody's like the straight little kitten that came to work for us and like god brought us them into our lives so that we could like mentor them obviously they can work for us they can make money they can help us but like we really help them you just we call our old employees stray little kittens <laughs> yeah, she didn't because... mean that because yes we meant that some of the young folks we got but we also got to work with a lot of older folks rochelle yeah, but Vicky, everybody became that... like family if you work yeah. for us you become family and or you shop with us you become family yeah, so, and, but she doesn't mean like we meant it. We had a lot of young people come with us, like Daniel. He came with yeah, us when he was Daniel 13. Yeah, Daniel started working with us when he was like 14 years old because he got 13. in trouble for like at the skate park. And then he used to have to do volunteer work. And then he was one of our first employees. So our first employee was Vicky. That was Brenna. Daniel. It was Daniel. 
He was really funny because he came with that 13 year old attitude because he was getting in trouble and he was trying to test me. And I'm like, dude, I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. Don't talk to me that way. If you're going to do certain things, I want to treat you like a man. So if you want me to treat you with respect, be respect. And then, bam, he got really smart. And, like, he was, he was with us for years. And he still comes in. You know, yeah, he's a good he still friend. shops with us. He's right? family. He's married now. He's super successful in life. Uh, you know, he's a great kid. So that yeah. was that was kind of history. You know, Jessica, we know Jessica for a long, long time. Yeah, Jessica. Cheryl been with us for years. Rochelle worked for a long time. You know, there's a lot of stuff right. that happened in her life that she, we went through together all. Mm -hmm. There was Hieronima. Hieronima. There was Madison. There Madison. was who was the stinky kid that moved to Arizona. Remember when everybody got babies? Brenda, she came, yeah. got a baby. Yeah. That was a joke at Bargain Hunters for a long time. It's like working at Bargain Hunters, you gotta get pregnant. Oh yeah, we were like, don't drink the water. <laughs> don't drink the water, Bargain Hunters. <laughs> then Madison came, she got pregnant within like sixty days or so, drank the water. Yeah. So um, you know, with her. Who was the kid, the stinky kid? He moved to Arizona. Remember? That is so rude to say. No, well, he's an older guy, but he was, was he was on one of the first episodes that we ever were on on Storage Wars. What was his name? I can't think of what his name is. Why do you call me up like that? So he only worked for us for a short time, and then he had a mood. Or so, Wasn't no. his name like Justin? No, 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 no. He's a really good guy too. But he was he was like, he did the Matthew McConaughey stuff. Like he didn't want to use deodorant. I can't remember. I just, <laughs> yeah, is, we've had lot. So if we don't, we had a remember, lot of employees over the last ten years. If we don't remember you and you've worked for us, it's like it just. We wish you all well. For a girl that went to go. college, she worked for like a summer for us. Oh yeah, Juliet. Juliet. Juliet's about to oh, get yeah. married. Madison. She yeah. Oh, okay, I ran um, into her. She's uh, getting married. Uh, yeah. Nice. McKenna. Huh? McKenna. Uh, McKenna. Yes. Perla. Hugo. 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 Yeah. 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 Hugo. Yeah. yeah. Jose. Jose. Oh yeah, Jose. Yeah. So that's been so many people. So it's a family. But you guys don't want to hear all that. But. Yeah, you know, it's just a piece of history. But a lot of people are saying it's like, you know, it's Bargain Hunters en ending here. Um, no, the chapter is just kind of changing. So for right now, we're going to liquidate the store. So come on down. The whole store is 25% off starting on Thursday. But we're going to, like, hopefully sell a lot of this stuff because I don't feel like moving it. One, two, we're going to do a warehouse. And three, we're going to start looking for another store. And it's she said it really fast, so here's the bigger case. Bigger and better. So, uh, Thursday is the 21st of January, just for... Yes, good, yeah. good to know. So, Thursday's yeah. the 21st of January. Um, yeah. One of the things we're going to do, we probably have a couple million dollars of eBay stuff sitting right now. So, we've been really hoarding it up since uh, we've been doing storage wars a lot. Plus, with the store, we've just been buying so many deals and we're keeping certain percentage of stuff that we just didn't think would sell through the store or we just never had time to price and that's all gonna go on eBay. So eBay. Renee has a buying problem. <clears throat> well, I make money, hey, I'm a money making machine. You know that, so. It's okay, like... so the question now is everybody, I'm sure everybody wants to know, so add in the comments, how many storage units do we think Renee has? Because I don't know. 17. I don't know, I think he's been working it down, so I want to say seven. She says 17, Wait, I Wait, no, 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 I, I want to do one digit, I want to do one digit. Uh, I'll, I'll bleed the fifth. Okay, maybe it's 12, 12. 12, 12. I don't know. Yeah, 12. So you guys write in the comments, how many storage units do you think we have? Do warehouses count? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> We have a lot of stuff, guys, like a lot of really good stuff. Another possibility we are talking about, as you guys follow us, you know that also uh, we do a lot with sports cards right now and collectibles, so... We're actually thinking about maybe taking one of the high-end malls here in San Diego and just open up like a three or four thousand square feet store in a mall and only have high-end cards, new products, Pokemon. And Renee's trying to get a Panini account, so he's trying to get a sports card store going. Panini doesn't love me. Yeah, they won't give me. It's hey. nearly impossible, but hey, dream big, right, guys? Hey, I want everybody that's on our Twitter family right now go to um, Twitter. And send a message to pa pa Panini America, I think it is, or Panini Direct. Just look it up, Panini the Card. So I can put the link on there. It'd be like, hey, the team from Bargain Hunters needs a pan Panini Direct account. So you guys can send them a tweet. They'll probably get mad at me, but it's okay. But we'll do something like that. We're also looking at the possibility that to do not a thrift store like this, a secondhand type of store. There would be some more new stuff added, including a furniture consignment store. But we and if we were to do that, it's going to be 20,000 square feet. Because why? Go big or go home, baby. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but yeah, we wouldn't do another store if anything is under 20,000 square feet. Mommy. Oh. Mommy. Mommy, what are you doing? We're filming a video. Now you have to be in a live face. So that's Rosa, Rosa over here. Say hi. Say yeah. hi. She, she's now hiding. she's hiding. Now she's hiding. Okay, everybody Morning, look Morning, here. Family. Say what your name is, Rosa? My name is Rosa. <laughs> <laughs>
like her voice okay, she is not oh, allowed back into the store. Huh? She's not allowed back Diana's into the store. Grandmother. If you see her anywhere on the street, run away. She's dangerous, okay? Look, I'm filming you. Oh, <laughs> oh, how nice, how nice. Obviously, Rosa has not taken her medication. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the store is going to be big, but we are waiting right now to what's happening with the situation in the world because of COVID. This year, we, you know, we were shut down for three months, and that cost us like $20,000 a month. Obviously, we had to keep on paying the rent. Like, you know, some stores just didn't pay rent. We paid our own bills because we do have a buyout agreement, and we got to pay our bills. There's no excuses for that. So so we paid our bills, of course, and we would do it anyway So because that's just yeah. how we are. We just make it happen. But um, so we don't want to sign a brand new lease somewhere and then all of a sudden they shut us down for six months and we pay. So the plan right now, we're looking at warehouses that are like 5,000 square feet. And I think the highest one we're going to look at on Tuesday is 8,800 square feet. And we're going to build the eBay machine. Right now, if you go to our eBay store, Bargain Hunter Thrift Store, the link is below. Um, we had like 1,300 items online, yeah. but we're down to like 800 or so. So do you know, he was like, oh, we'll just do a warehouse that's only 3,000 square feet. I'm like, Renee, we have so much stuff. 3,000 feet is square feet is not going to fill everything. One and two, Renee's got a buying problem. So every time I turn around, he's like, oh, there's this great deal. I just got to buy it. I'm like, so he needs to get a bigger warehouse. He's like a girl sure at the mall. Like, the credit card is endless. You know what? Ah, They'll make fun of me. They'll make fun of me. But you guys watch the videos. You know how I buy. It's no brainers. So no brainers. So bigger, more room. But here's the really cool thing. So as we go through the spying process, as soon as we get the warehouse, we will walk you guys through. We're gonna show you the warehouse how it's before. We're gonna show you what we're setting up with the um, with the shelving, how we inventorize stuff. We're gonna show you how we set up the. So this is actually gonna be the first time in ten years where we totally gonna focus on the online market for us again. So we've been doing the online market, and you know we've been yeah, doing. Yeah, Renee's been selling on eBay before the existence of eBay. Yeah, so I used to sell stuff through news groups, was on eBay right when it came. But we're totally going to focus on the eBay thing. We're going to show you 6-bit software, how we set that up with server. We're going to show you how the team works. So we're going to walk you guys through the whole process. Here's another thing. You guys know our YouTube channel been sucking a little bit lately? Let's be honest. Because Sorry, we've been busy. Because of the situation, we're not buying as many units right now. We're still buying them. Um, we're doing some other stuff I can talk about right now. But also that keeps us really busy. And because we are shutting down the store, we've been just working on a lot of different things where we couldn't make videos. The good news is the warehouse we do, we're going to dedicate about a thousand square feet just to YouTube studio space. So we'll have like a section which is going to be like going through boxes, which I know you guys love. We're going to have a section where um, it's going to be like a studio type of setting. And it's going to be guests and talking, almost like a podcast type of stuff probably. Um, and we're going to do some really cool different stuff with YouTube. And the goal is actually to get a video every day uploaded on YouTube. Um, right? Yeah. So that's going to be really, so the channel is really going to get a lot of content. And you probably can expect that. So we're out of here, but let's say by April 1st, you know, you probably can start expecting to see a real uptick in YouTube at the end of April, May, and then daily for sure by probably June, July. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be really exciting. Um, and also now eBay. So next year, this time, we're going to be selling throughout the whole year. But there should be at least, what, 10,000 listings on eBay? Oh, yeah. Maybe more. So, yeah. um, you know, um, all, all kinds of stuff that, that you see we're buying. So we're super excited. But here's the announcement. If you guys are in San Diego right now, we should tell them that, right? Yep. So if you're in San Diego starting Thursday, we're just going to blow a lot and of the stuff Thursday, out. And which Thursday, Tatiana, had the date? Uh, January 21st. It's very nice. January, January 21st. 21st. The entire store, with the exception of new sealed trading cards, but it includes old Star Wars, old trading cards, G.I. Joe's, furniture we're going to show you all kinds of stuff i'm going to do a walkthrough right now the entire store is 25 percent off doesn't matter what it is you need a cabinet for 75 or for 70 bucks guess what take 25 percent off you need a dresser take 25 percent off date with casey 500 bucks 25 percent off <laughs> <laughs> tatiana's like mommy <laughs> Hey, you know what? My what about a date with Rosa? Oh, yeah. 42 cents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm just kidding. Look, guys, sometimes I say weird stuff, but I really believe in a life philosophy. When I was young, when I was 16, this movie came out. It was Patch Adams. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
And he always he said, wasn't young. He was single, and he took I don't know like three or four different dates to that movie. In the same week, I saw it four times, literally, like within ninety six hours. Started hating that movie. I don't know if I've ever watched it since, but the philosophy was really good. He said, say different things, uh, unexpected things, and do unexpected things, and it's gonna get you a really cool reaction. So, like when you go on a date, say different things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you have to get the story straight. No, I'm just kidding. That was when I was young. So, um, I was just dating. Oh, okay, I think we should change the subject. Yeah, it's kind of that's kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so that's why I made that joke because nobody would expect me. I'm gonna say that hopefully, unless you know me, then you maybe you know I say weird crap. I'm surprised they had movie theaters 70 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do a walkthrough. Let's show walkthrough? you what we've been doing we have been really busy pricing out all kinds of more merchandise and we've been reconfiguring the store so come on and follow renee yeah that, we'll, we'll just check some stuff you just want to show some stuff you need a desk it's 200 bucks 25 percent of yeah get a mask it's in your pocket oh it's in my pocket mm -hmm. Scale. I don't know why this scale. This scale has been forever. Three hundred bucks, but now it's twenty five percent off. These actually go for like five six hundred on eBay. Regulators. These right here. If you guys watch the videos, this was a great deal. Most of these probably will go on eBay, but they'll be twenty five percent. They're off. so cool. I'm gonna take one, three of my in my room. So you, you guys, oh, that's fine. You guys make fun of me. So like these are paid for like the first day. I only paid like one hundred fifty bucks, and there's about ten thousand dollars worth of eBay merchandise here, and they sell on eBay. Just so it's not just listing. We still got some of this brand new stuff. We just went to our storage units. We have scarves, compression shirts, uh, sweatpants. These we've been selling like crazy for $9.99. You know, we had like so many of these. Guess what? They're 25% off. Do you need an Ewok Village? Yes. 25% off. Do you need records? We have about 5,000 records in stock. 25% off. All these graded baseball cards, football cards, loose cards, wind up tin toys, stereo equipment, stamps, Royal watches. Dalton, Chloe and Lamar sign. Yeah, yeah. Lamar there's Lamar. Uh, cameras, there's Royal Dalton, there's uh, tunnels. All this stuff, 25% off. Casey, why don't you do a walkthrough? I'm going to help them with the cards really quick. The only thing that's not going to be included in the 25% off is the brand new sealed cards. But all the vintage stuff, 25% off. Okay, so... You want to show them some stuff? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hair product. Do you guys have any questions? Color. Gels, mousse, shampoo, conditioner, treatments, knives, watches, jewelry. Hey, guys, check it out. Casey, oh, okay. you need a spider record? Well, if you come on Thursday, it'll be 25% off. No way. Yeah, and it's spider. This sounds like some kind of 1980s, like, hair. Oh, there's a little, little That one. is, wow, that is a cover. Oh, the, oh, the Funko Pops. Yeah, you need Funko Pops. Vintage board games. Here, you just walk them through, honey. Okay. We also have this big uh, one right here. Here, check oh, yeah, this wall of Star Wars. There's something in there, too, like we sell a lot of these we constantly restock these like people always like you know what? actually somebody leave a comment Rene, you prices at ohio you never sell any of these i got like another ten thousand of these at least in i sold stuff. like seven today yeah we sell so many people know that box sets dvds all 25 percent off the entire wall of starting lineup same thing you know like we've been restocking these for so long i probably still have enough to restock these two or three times all 25% off. Shoes, 25% off. Yep. Toys, 25% off. CDs, 25% off. Knives, 25% off. I mean, the entire store, check out the wall up there. Indian art. Native American. Native American? Why? It's not wrong to say Indian, is it? Um, some people might get offended. Or like Everybody indigenous people. This is 2020, 21. Everybody's offended. It's 2020. Actually, I'm offended True. that you get offended. Oh, yeah, you said 20. I'm offended that you tell me that I'm offended that you're pointing out that people get offended. Well, they're, offended. Na they're Native Americans. They were here first. All right, Native Americans. Well, I grew up in Germany, and Germany was an Indian hat. Sorry, guys. He he's not from here. He doesn't really know English at all. Yeah. Good enough to pay you private school, though, right? <laughs> so all this stuff, 25% off. Look, this is little left. Remember when we bought this deal? Talk about memories. The, uh, Talk about memories. That was a good deal. The video's up there somewhere. All these toys, 25% off. I probably will not restock these anymore after this sale. Because uh, every week, you know, we start at 25% off. Then stuff go 35%, 45%. We're just going to keep on lowering. Dishes. It until it's gone. 
you know, at the end of the, by the time we're all done with this, the goal is that all the stuff is gone. We don't have to pack it. Superwoman, crime syndicate, 25% off. Restless, John Cena, ruthless aggression, 25% off. Hey, I, I have a question, I have a question. Is this 25% off? Not that one. Not that one? Oh, okay. That's <laughs> no. what I wanted. 25% off, awesome. Stormtrooper. Right here, Trilogy, which is my favorite series, Stormtrooper. I should take this home, this is actually cool. Take it home, take it home. I do like that one. Take it. No, no, it's okay. No. 25%. I'm kidding, leave it, I don't need stuff. You want it. No, I have too much crap everywhere. Crap. Let's put it back. Okay. But well, it's here if somebody wants it. Renee Nazota touched it. Oh, stop. Fingerprints. Hot Wheels, 25% off. Toys, and we actually just got a huge collection of high-end designer clothing. But you know what? It's just a way to timing is it's literally been out not even a day. If you're like a size five in women's, we have a really small brand new designer um, shoes all here. Dresses. Um, we have um, designer coats right over here. Um, we have uh, Pokemon over here, Yokai watch, and we have Shopkins for little girls. And we have um, stuffed animals as well. So I think everybody kind of gets the point. The whole store is in sale. This yeah. is kind of. It is a bittersweet moment. This is shutting down. But at the same time, guys, we are through it, you know. Um, so I did. Mask. Huh? I did. You are through it? <laughs> That's funny. But we are through the store. Like, unfortunately, and actually, fortunately, our business is so much bigger now. We do so much bigger money deals. Um, even with COVID and being shut down for three years, we put so many new aspects and facets to our business that we actually, it's, it's our best year ever. So, and you know, I tell you guys all the time, this business is, uh, like, it doesn't matter. If there's a lot of money, the economy's high or low, this business is always good. It just changes the way you do business. If you watch our videos, we actually give a lot of lessons for that. Um, we have outgrown this business. If we go back into retail, uh, we will do the whole journey about that too. And it's going to be 20,000 square feet. Another thing that we're actually going to do, and that's, that's where we really want to go. We want to keep our online and buy a storage facility. Um, if we do manage to do that, and it might be another year away because we want to see what the economy does. But if we manage to do that, we're going to take you along on an adventure too. Um, as soon as we can travel again, we're going to take a killer vacation. We're going to take you guys along. There's so much stuff happening right now. Uh, actually, right before this COVID thing happened, we were actually talking about opening up a second store. You can come, sir. We were actually talking about opening up a se second store in the Burbank area. And the reason the Burbank area, there was going to be a whole TV show around just about the store itself and the business and all that. It's kind of a combination of Storage Wars, okay, Pawn so Stars. Okay, we really wanted Gunter to come work. Yeah, he left. So he would be close. Why am I never, like, told any of this stuff? It's okay, we keep secrets. We've been talking about this in front of her the whole time. I was so probably just too cool listening. of a kid, you know, hanging out with everybody and... Yeah. Too cool. Yeah. yeah, too cool for school. Too cool for school? No, I go to school. I get straight A's. Yes, yeah, she does. She, she does has she has an eighty nine point seven in one class. I saw I saw the report card yesterday. Oh. So hey, a three. You didn't give her the A. No. Oh no 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 oh, no. Hey, I so get an eighty nine. I, I need you guys a. to tell. So I got to deal with her. Every A that she gets on semesters, I give her twenty bucks. So she has she has all straight A's, all in the mid nineties. But she has one class that's an 89.7. No, my teacher will bring it up to a 90. I don't... She said she will. Well, that's... Yeah, that's point right now, the, should. That's... the report I got is an 89.7. We're going to ask the audience right now. Or is now. it in Spanish? Because no Espanol. I, I think it was in World Guard Geography. Dang it. Oh, man. No, she'll bring it up. She'll bring it up. I promise you. Well, hey, if it's an 89.7, I want you guys to leave a comment right now. Should I give her 20 bucks for being off a third of a percent? Because, hey, that's how the world works, right? <laughs> you know, if you if you have a bill, it's 100 bucks. That's 0.03. It's not a third. Yeah, it's 0 0.03. No, it's 89.7. It's 0.3. No. See, that's why you didn't get a 90, because you're wrong with your points. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. I've already worked nine days straight, like 12-hour days, because you've been I trying to pass the last of the merch. So you guys leave a comment. Should she get the 20 for that class, too? Please say no, because I'm trying to Please save 20 bucks. Yes. No, say no. I, she got straight A's and worked. I work. I, I came here well. early at, like, 8 o'clock when we opened up at 1030 with my mom. And yeah, like, she, she I was tired. Team and that was the day after having finals for the whole week, which I got... All A's on all of them. Is there going to be a lot of whining? Because I'm going to have to get a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Back is sore.
I, I just don't get enough hey, you know what? We put it to the audience. We're gonna let we're gonna let them comment on what they think. But anyway, guys, so there's like so much exciting stuff coming in our life. So even though that is happening, and I know because you know we're on television, so rumors always go crazy. This is actually a really good thing. So we hit the jackpot by getting the buyout agreement. So that really worked for us. Now, with that being said, we would love to be here the last five, six years for our lease because we could have done the store for five, six more years. And by the time we're done with that lease, Tatiana be off to college, off to college and me and Casey be chasing sharks in Hawaii. So that would have been perfect. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we can't do that now. So we'll, we'll have to figure out. But the adventure is going to be exciting. There's going to be a lot of changes. We're going to fly out to hang out with what the hell's. Um, they just bought a property in Florida, so we're going to do some gator hunting. Yeah. Uh, I'm also flying out to Ohio uh, to do a podcast with GFNF. We got like six casino appearances tentatively scheduled, depending on what's happening in the nation with the COVID and everything. Uh, we're doing some television filming. Uh, we're also talking about a whole brand new show. That's like so much exciting stuff happening to Bargain Hunters. Even though we cried earlier, and this is like a really sad moment, it's going to be a little bit emotional. And we're going to keep on walking you guys through as this go, as this goes. Um, it's actually exciting. But do us a favor. Show us your love with all the support you give. Our YouTube channel just hit over 91,000 subscribers. Yeah, so if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get Renee to 100,000 subscribers so you can get that special piece of paper. It's actually a black. Yeah, oh, it's a black. black. Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah. I just It's not just me. It's a and, and it has like the YouTube logo and it's silver probably. Oh, and then nice. It's a blade. It's has... called a blade button. Yeah. yeah. But if you guys are Team Bargain Hunters, show us the love right now. This video is more important than ever. I want you guys to share the video. I want you to thumb it up. And I just like to see who's Team Bargain Hunters. I'm going to like a lot of the comments. I don't need to write. I just want you to go into the comment section. Hashtag Team Bargain Hunters. And we do a lot of hashtags. So we love you guys. It's 10 years. It is a sad time in our life right now. And I think the next 30 days are going to be a little bit depressing. Because I, I don't like stuff ending. Uh, but there's going to be whole new adventures coming. It's going to be super exciting. It's going to go on a whole nother level. You know, it's like we're leaving the second Bundesliga. But we're about to play in the Bundesliga. Nobody knows what you're saying. Yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> Soccer fans know what I'm saying. Love you guys.